Hello, I'm Daryl Hyam, we're at Eric's in Matthew Street in Liverpool uh, with the Catmen. We're going to have a look at the gear that I use. Uh, it's the same gear I use when I'm working with the um, Velvet May. Um, so first of all, we can see the amp here. It's a PB Delta Blues. It's, uh, it's a small amp, but it uh, does the job pretty much every size venue we've ever played at. It's got one 10 inch or 15 inch speaker inside. Um, drive channel, reverb, tremolo. It's a wonderful amp. I've had this for many, many years. Um, and I swear by it. Um, also on the top here we have uh, a hum debugger, which comes in handy when you're using guitars like this that are single chord because they get a bit noisy. So uh, it's nice to have something like that. Um, and uh, you'll see uh, a bit of fast fret. Always need a bit of fast fret to clean the strings with them to make you play lightly fast sometimes. Uh, the red telephone box and the plectrums in, which is essential. You can't go on stage without one of them. And the plectrums, which have uh, got my name on, so just so I don't forget who I am. The two guitars that I've got here this is a Switchmaster ES5, uh, which I got in America very recently. Uh, so a lot of work done on it by Rob Bond at uh, RJB Guitars. Um, it's got our Nico. Uh, staple V pickups from the I done by a single Duncan, um, especially hand wound to sound like the mid 50s uh, staple Vs, as per Scotty Moore had on his uh, uh, Gibson L5, his 1954 L5. So I sort of wanted to try and get a very similar sound to that. Uh, but this is kind of like the Carl Perkins guitar compliment, so um, it's a beautiful guitar. The spare is a White Falcon, French White Falcon. Um, I've got two of these. This one is uh, one that I very rarely use and very rarely play, but um, it's nice to have it as a, as a spare. They're lovely guitars as well. But yeah, this is my, my main uh, gigging guitar. Um, the pedal board down here. Now, I've got a real echo, a Dan Electro real echo, which is wonderful. I don't use it very often, only on a couple of songs, really. Um, but it gives a really lovely echo sound. They're, they're very reasonably priced as well. I sound like a salesman, but I'm not really a salesman. And um, I've got two zoom pedals, I think, which are a G2. Um, one of them is a, a signature model. I don't know who it, whose it is, I don't know the guy, but um, uh, I bought it because I needed a spare and it was the only one I could find a short notice. Um, I don't actually use it, but um, the other zoom, the one next to it, I use that, um, it's kind of an ambient setting that I've got it on. I don't really use effects very much on stage. Um, I just use the, the amp, the drive channel on the amp, just to get a nice little bit of dirt in there, and uh, the pickups on the guitar just to get the sound that I like. Um, it's a very basic setup. But the Zoom is very good because it's got a built in uh, tuner which uh, you can mute and then tune in between songs. So it's very handy for that. But it does give some wonderful sounds, and I do swear by them. I've always used a zoom pedal. Um, so there's not a lot down here, but um, it's, uh, it gets me out of trouble when I'm, when I'm gigging. But as I say, I prefer just to really get the sound coming out of the pickups of the guitar through the amp. And uh, as I say, those, those two things work really well together, so uh, I just stick with it. Uh, thank you very much.